Hi. Hello. I'm Kate. And I'm Suzanne. And this is Mars Minute, where we talk about an episode of Veronica Mars. And today's episode is uh, Credit Where Credit's Due. And we just want to thank everyone. Our blog has over 100 followers. I think as of right now, it's 105. And we're so exciting. Happy dance. Yeah, so uh, first of all, we just want to thank you guys for contributing to our very important and journalistic discussion of pilot fashion choices. We've picked out some of our favorite comments um, about what you guys said. Uh, Lila Madison 11 said, you ladies crack me up. Thank you. We think we're quite hilarious as well. Um, and she said, hate the Logan outfit in general, especially after doing a lot of research viewing his bottom half. Wink, wink. Um, love that he learned about jeans later on because come on. Thank which, you. Um, I think we can, I think we can all agree with. And then Sophie girl wrote the best comment out of all really the comments, good. which is, oh my God, you two are so freaking adorable. I just want to smoosh your little faces. <laughs> Thank you so much, you guys, for uh, sending your feedback. We really loved uh, reading those comments. Um, we're thrilled that you guys enjoyed the first Mars Minute. That's awesome. And now on to our second episode. The topic today is called, What Does the Weed Say? Which is supposed to be in your head to the tune of What Does the Fox Say? Um, by that comedy band or whatever. So in episode two, there's a moment where Logan and the O'Niners show up outside of Caitlin's house. They find that Chardo is there, and they all start beating up Chardo. And then Weevil shows up with the PCHers and pulls Logan aside <laughs> and says, let's talk. Now, everybody wants to know, what did Weevil and Logan actually talk about? We found some rare audio footage. Um, we did. We did. So, because it was actually cut out um, from the episode, but we're going to replay it for you. So. It's pretty, it's pretty shocking. It is pretty yeah. shocking. This is what they call inevitable, huh? Hey, look, you ain't got a home court advantage. Let's talk. Caitlin Ford, we fucking talked about this. About what? The fact that she's a bitch? You're better than this. And no girl is going to start believing that. Until I start believing that. Yeah, you've mentioned it a few times. You say you understand, but you keep doing shit like this. What can I say? The hot blondes just do it for me. I wasn't aware PCH or initiation now consisted of sensitivity training. We're branching out. You taking care of Tardo? Yeah, my boys and I got it. Meaning? I haven't decided yet. Look, okay, I know it's supposed to be your week to pick, but I'm vetoing Easy Rider before you can even suggest it. As long as we don't have to watch The Matrix again. What's with your thing for Keanu, anyway? The dude can wear leather, and I respect that. I don't respect that ass brown colored shirt you're wearing. It matches my eyes. And your skin. Lay off the earth tones. Just step the fuck away from brown and orange, you got it? I can't. Duncan and I flipped a coin and he went blue. Eccles, why do I even put up with your shit? Go. Logan, I said let him go. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> don't really understand why that was left on the cutting room floor. I mean, I it think really it was does all the swearing. A lot about the relationship. It does, but all the swearing is just not suitable for UPN. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. That was probably, that was probably why. Yeah, uh, most likely. Weevil, Weevil says the F word quite a bit. Shocking. He does. He does. And then there's some <laughs> racist jokes in there from Logan. <laughs> Was not expecting that. <laughs> this is the kind of stuff you guys can look forward to in the Mars Minute. We are dusting off those old film reels and we are finding those clips that you want to know more about. So if there are some other clips where missing scenes or clips where you can't figure out what they're actually saying, let us know because we have sources. We can probably find we them. We do. So thank you so much for tuning in to the second episode of our Mars Minute. 
in two weeks, we'll be bringing the next episode where we talk about Meet John Smith. So as you go throughout your busy weeks, if there's anything you'd like to see in that episode, please send a suggestion to our submit box. If you have any other questions, you can always feel free to stop by our Ask box. And uh, we'd love to hear what you have to say about our Mars Minute this week and the hidden footage that we found. <laughs> and now it's time for our adorable sign-off. That is actually really cute. I'm just, yeah. That is. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Have a good week, you guys. I don't think I've said the F word this many times in my entire life, Kate. <laughs> Let's talk. <laughs> That's a terrible people voice. <laughs> so in episode two, there's a moment where Veronica, where Veronica, she's not even this part. <laughs> I can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, that is Swish, swish, swish. Okay. Swish. <laughs> swish our own faces. Kate, Kate, come on. <laughs> you just keep doing this because you want to hear me say the F word. Admit it. <laughs> As long as we don't watch The Matrix again. What's with your thing for Kinu, anyways? Keanu. Keanu? Is that his name? I say Keanu. <laughs> Fine. How do you say it? Keanu? 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 <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't stop laughing. It's so funny. So, Suzanne, how has the Mars Minute made a positive impact on your life? Well, uh... Last time as we were recording and we were talking about pilot fashion, you had some pretty strong words about the knee-length denim skirt that Veronica wore in the pilot episode. It didn't make and it into the I Mars Minute, too. but I did say some pretty mean things about it. And then I revealed to you that at one time I also owned a knee-length denim skirt. In addition to an ankle-length denim skirt, which you did not know what to do with. What Except I did not tell hope you. Hope and pray that you burned it. <laughs> <laughs> what I did not tell you was <clears throat> that I still owned a knee length denim skirt that I wore until your wonderful fashion insight convinced me that maybe I needed to get rid of it. So it is currently in my thrift store bag. And for visual proof, here it is. Oh no! <laughs> as long as you're not going to wear it anymore. No, it's going to go to the wonderful world of Goodwill or Value Village. So thank, thank you. Thank you, Kate. And thank you, Mars Minute. And thank you for getting rid of that skirt. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure to. Um... <clears throat> Sorry. No, no, that was me. I, I, had a, I had a cough. You didn't need to do it. <laughs> Caitlin Ford? We fucking talked about this. <laughs> Can't get it together. <laughs> Can't get it together. <laughs>